green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Scrimmer is getting chased and yelling really loudly. Sound effect you'll hear a lot. And somehow he got bandages on his nose and his head. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not. That's a little close. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King I don't know why he, like, bubbled that. He just said... He's not reading it off anything. Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. What? You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Ah, that could take it the wrong way. So, yeah, basically, now your job is to go get your pal, air quotation marks there. Uh, Squidward, a uh, nice little reward, or go ahead and get to your him the. Well, I can't think of words to say. Uh, Get him the the jelly. So you have to go when you open this one, you have to go when you get the other one, you kinda of like shortcut through the, these areas. It's nice, it's kinda of like a little quick travel sort of thing. And hello robots, hello dead robots. If you can combo them together, you'll get more points as to for you can jump in these these things here are bouncy. And also I failed jumping! Wow, what a great start. I will be 100% in this game, if you are curious. I will get all the socks, I will get all the spatulas in this game. I'm not really I'm a 100% person, but I 100% in this game recently, and I'm like, oh, it's not that hard, 100%. So the first sock in Jellyfish Fields is over in this corner over here. So I jump over here, I have a little random robot to the feet. That really serves no challenge at you at all. Jump from down here. Quickly go down here. And you've got a sock. Nice little lonely sock here waiting for you. That's the first sock of Jellyfish Fields. Uh, if you head back here, all the way back around, you should see here this little clam. Uh, if you you cannot cross, as you can see, the bridge is out. Uh, if you go here and you can pay the cam. Another reference there. Uh, with uh, Magic Conch. Actually, kind of. Magic Conch, the reference of the Magic Conch, the Magic Bushima. Anyways, the Magic Conch do nothing and the food drop from them. Let's see. This is a checkpoint? Uh, yeah. So basically, like every other video game, a checkpoint is a checkpoint. Oh, Advanced stuff here, I know, but I don't know if I can explain all this in one breath. I just did. Uh, let's continue here. You got random tartar sauce everywhere. It's kind of foreshadowing. Tartar sauce. It will be coming important later on. Uh, here you got a little frizzy fruit, only Patrick, showing that Patrick will be a playable character later on in this game. Uh, you can jump on these things, and you get an underwear. Even though it's kind of pointless, because you really shouldn't need underwear this early in the game. You know, if you get hit by these, then you're definitely new to the game. Because, well... I'm trying to get up here, how do you... Yeah. Excuse me, yeah, I need to do that. There you go. A little more just jumping up straight up. Uh, those shiny bits do not reappear after you collect them. It's when you're just laying around. You cannot get them again, just running around. Anyways, press this button here, and it sends you out to this island with the barrels. This is not time, so you are good. You can take all your lazy good gardoliness to get out here. And as soon as you get out here, you see another sock. Number two in this area. Four. Four! No, two. Okay, I was gonna say, four. Anyways, let's see here. 
Oh, this was 50, I said, right? 50, yep, that's right. I just recently played through this game, so I should have this game first in mind. That's one of the first games I have done this recently. Was actually, I went ahead and played it through it, and then went back and now I'm filming it. This, I finished it two days ago, and I'm just playing through it again, because it's fresh in my head, I found everything, so. It may seem a tad cheap, I now know everything, but I share my wisdom with you. Now here, you get the cannons. You're probably thinking, oh, how can I defeat this thing? Is there like a button at the press? No, you just do that. They're horribly made, I guess. Really low budget. That's a really creepy face. It's basically a bunch of bungee jumps in this game. Which basically means you go up here, you try to grab, only Spongebob can. Remember that. Other characters cannot. Spongebob is the only one. So press B to get off, and A to get on. So you go up down, try to get like a, just all of them, and then let's grab the spatula. And have an epic pose! End of the game. Four percent done. Which is really nice that they made it a hundred. I mean, then like all those other games, 120, like random numbers, but a hundred, you know how much, how much the game you've completed. Very dang easily. And I feel this, that button's completely unnecessary. I mean, you're not gonna do anything else. I feel like this is animation. I don't know. Get the idea that pressing buttons pop makes things pop up. I really don't know what the point of that button was. And you get the and it's the first unique enemy. Whack themselves in the head. I don't get I never get that, but they do. That's their idle animation is whacking themselves in the head. Self abuse. It's okay, man. You don't want to inflict self pain for you to make you feel something better. So, anyways, if you you can also hit um, friendly people and they go, blink. Uh, went over here. Little combo over here. You can put random stacks. Super ultra mega combo. Hi, robot. Bye, robot. Uh, if you hit them, they won't. If they land, they won't survive at all. Don't worry about that. Doesn't be weird. Yeah, get it? They have ham. They have ham on their sticks. That's what it's called, the hammer. Anyways, we'll get back to this thing with Jake. This is the bubble wall. This is the power up something later on gets, and you can't use it now. So, yeah, we'll come back here. Don't worry. There's another one later on. Another sock we can only get with the power up that we lay the power that we'll later get get later. Uh, first, uh, we got nope, nope, not these. Get these. Oh, up one. And then you go across the yeah. So the me, I'm jumping to conclusions. Not just jumping conclusions, just jumping the gun. Period. Uh little water here. Um I didn't read the sign, but SpongeBob cannot go into Not water, because they will be underwater and they'll be pointless. We're underwater, you silly people. Can't be not underwater. SpongeBob can't be allergic to underwater. So you weird. I'm gonna jump up here. Get a little reward. And they can bring them all for more rewards. Hooray! I mean, their little stuff there is not that hard if you miss them. Like, like, horrible. Like, oh, you're a horrible person because you missed it. No, that's, that's not really matter. This is back up here. Uh, just keep going here. And then we have four randomly rotating ones that, if you really want to, you can kind of combo. Doesn't really have much of a purpose. This is Goo. Oh, sorry. I judged early. I thought the sign was early on. It's not. I'm sorry, I apologize for jumping the gun. For explaining something, the game will just 10 seconds later. Ah, uh, jump, 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 and jumperoo. I gotta get back. Jump, jump, and jump. You can jump, like double jump out there if you really. Wow! You can double jump there if you really wanted to. There's no really limit of how many jumps you can do. Now you can jump this way. I'm gonna get all those shiny bits. Jump from below platform to platform. Jump here. Get that extra blue one at the top. And jump. Nice little jump over here. And you've hopped your way all the way across. And you get yourself another sock. Hey, you. And that thing's floating somehow. And this one will somehow sling you back. 
However, if you jump on this thing again, and then turn your camera to the left, that's the right, and jump this way, you land on a nice little island with a sock on the very tip top of the fountain. That was the last um, sock I found in Jellyfish Field, so that's a hard one to find. So you just fanatically see when you think when you see that, you just go, Oh, there's only that one thing. You really don't think what's up here. So, so anyways, uh, back to the main roll area. Just drop down here. You get this little rolling kind of platform here. Which kind of is untilted. Which is not that hard to walk across, but it's there on the way. And then you get the huffing and puffing, the duplicated shine. 1,000, not the 3,000. The 1000. The D1000 will be growing bots until it explodes. So you better go. It's like an ordinary spawner. Just go and take it out. You can take all these guys out, but. There we go. And kaboom. And then, for some reason, there's a button behind it. I mean, if you're gonna hide a button anywhere, it's behind something. I mean, that's probably the number one place you wanna hide something. It's behind them. It's behind them. Number five. We are 1 20th stones this game. Now let's go to the Jellyfish Caves. Next little area in Jellyfish Fields. Uh, if my memory serves me right, this will be a slide. Wow, Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Uh, hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Ew. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Ugh. Also, you can see a mermaid man has the wrong voice actor. Well, not the same voice actor. And after listening to all the mermaid man movies, that bugs me. From the lights kind of pants. That just kind of bugs me with the, that being different. I think you can go this way. You can go this way to the normal path. You jump out here, and you get a little sock. That's sock number nine. The normal path is just a normal path. However, if you go back up the side, you can see there was, there was something up in the top right corner. So I'll show off the correct or normal path of the slide here. Uh, SpongeBob licks the slide. I find that. Uh, I don't know how nutritiously beneficial looking, looking slides are, but I guess it's whatever you want to be. Up here for your tenth sack. So really, we've already got enough for one spatula, and we have this one defeat all the duplicator trons and press the buttons, and then go save Patrick. So let's go and save Patrick. Nice little little branch path here. Number one, you just go up here, take out the robot. I recommend don't mess around with the robots, they shouldn't be in your way much. So I just quickly just take out the duplication of John's and quickly move on your way. And quickly and quickly, brisk, sorry, briskly, rapidly, uh, try to think of what synonyms for quickly. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Wow, I have really limited vocabulary. Make sure you take those things out after you hit the buttons, so you just hit the buttons. Then hit the tab buttons, because, well, you just hit the buttons. You haven't hit the button. So it's really important. You need to score, destroy and hit the button. Then we need to jump for And for some reason, not one button does it, but you need to hit all three and then they pop up. Wouldn't it cool if, like, one popped up and then the rest popped up? Actually, I don't know if you have to destroy the duplication of trons. I think you just need to hit the button. But it makes more sense if you get rid of the duplication of trons. Hey, Spongebob! Hey, Patrick. Oh, my goodness, you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, Spongebob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. So, now we are Patrick. Patrick Stone. So the next part, we will be continuing through Jellyfish Fields with Patrick's one major mechanic. 
Uh, let's show off here. He can throw fruit. Press X, and then you can throw it at buttons. Oh, what all can Patrick do with this special move? Find out next week. See you guys then.